and welcome. In this video clip, we will learn some basic parameters of descriptive statistics such as computing average, mode, median, variance and standard deviation using SPSS. But before we use SPSS, let's, let's get some basic understanding of these parameters. Average or arithmetic mean, it defines the middle value in our data set. For example, we have a data set about the heights of buildings in an area. These blocks, if the, uh, they are, let's say that these blocks represent buildings and these are the heights of buildings in an area. And we want to know the average height or arithmetic mean of the heights of the buildings in this particular area. So what we do is we add all the values in our data set and divide by the divided uh, the total by the number of data points that we have in our data set. That we, the, the values in our data set range between 70 feet and 100 feet and the total number of data points that we have in, is, in this data set are 9. So we add all these data values or all these data points and divide by 9. So the average height of buildings in this particular area or the middle value of our data set is 82.2 feet. The next parameter is mode. Mode is the value that occurs more often in a data set or that has the highest frequency. To compute a mode, we arrange our data set either in an ascending or descending order. So we have nine values, we have nine data points and we arranged all those data points in an ascending order. And the most occurring value in our data set is 70 feet, which means that the highest frequency of the height or the buildings height of the buildings in the in a particular area or the number that appears most often in our data set is 70 feet we may have two modes for example we may have four buildings that have height of um, 70 feet and four buildings that have height of 80 feet then the mode of our data set will be 70 feet and 80 feet or we may have Three, uh, two buildings of 70 feet high, two buildings that have 80 feet high, and then we have two buildings that have 90 feet high. Then we have, in our data set, we have three modes, or we may have no mode. Each individual data point has a different value. So that could be a zero mode of in our data set. The third parameter is median. Median def is the define is the 50th percentile value, which means that 50% of our data points are above this value and 50% of our data points have values below this particular value. Again, to compute a median, we arrange our data points in an ascending or descending order. And then the point which is in the middle is the median, the value of that data point is the median of our data set. In this case, 80 feet is the median. However, it's possible that we have, um, let's say, rather than nine data points, we have 10 data points in our data set. So we have, the height, we have data about the heights of the building, about 10 buildings. So, and let's say this is 105 feet. So now we have 10 values. So the middle, there are two middle values. In this case, we have two middle values, 80 feet and 90 feet. There are four data points which are um, to the right of our data point uh, and uh, these two middle data points and there are four data points which are to the left of our these two middle values. So the median in this case is 80 plus 90 divided by 2. The next parameter is the it's the is are the variance or standard deviation. Variance and standard deviation define the these are the measures of dispersion. They define the dispersion or the spread in our data set. We compute variance and then standard deviation is the square root of variance. So how do we compute variance? Variance is actually the distance of a data point from the mean. So the farther the distance of these uh, the data points from the mean, the higher the variance will be, which means we say that there is, there is a higher um, scatter of data points in our data sets. We the variance is computed using an equation. We, have, we won't discuss that equation in this uh, video clip, but first we compute variance by taking the difference of the each data point from the mean and then we take the square root and divide it by the total number of data points minus 1. 
and then we take this square root of the variance of that particular value and that is called a standard deviation. A standard deviation is most commonly used to define the measure of dispersion in um, a data set. The higher the value of a standard deviation, the more is spread or dispersion in our data set. Now we will use SPSS to compute all these values. To use SPSS, we go to Analyze tab and from the drop down menu, select there are two options. We can compute median, mode, uh, and average, and other parameters using frequencies option or using descriptives. Let's use frequencies option. So we click on frequencies. And let's say that we want to compute all these basic parameters or uh, descriptive statistics for posted speed limit data, set, uh, data point. So we click on speed of vehicles and then click on this arrow and take this variable in the variable window and then we click on statistics we want to compute mean median mode and let's say that we want to compute 50th percentile and also the standard deviation variance range minimum value maximum value we can compute all these dispersion and these central tendency we click on continue and let's say we want we also want to plot a chart we want to plot a histogram and we also want SPSS to draw a normal curve on our histogram. And we click on continue and when we click on OK, we get all these descriptive statistics. So it shows that there are 1496 data points in our data set. There are zero missing values. The mean date of our or the mean arithmetic mean or the average speeds of vehicles in our data set is 43.39 miles per hour. Uh, we'll discuss the standard error of mean in another video clip. Median is the 40, is 43 miles per hour. So the median value of a speed is 43 miles per hour. The mode is 40 miles per hour, which means the 40 miles per hour is the most frequently occurring speed of vehicles on our road base on which we collected the data. 5.42 is the standard deviation and variance is 29.372 range is 31 and the minimum value is 29 and the maximum is 60 mile per hour now we see that the difference of 60 and 29 is 31 which shows that the range of our data points 50th percentile is 43 mile per hour now we see that the 50th percentile is equal to the median as we discussed that median is the 50th percentile value so there are 50 percent data points which are which have uh, which are below 43 mile per hour speed and there are 50 uh, percent data points which are above 43 mile per hour speed and then this is the histogram histogram is the plot of the frequency of data points in our data set so we see that this histogram has plotted the frequency of each value in our data set in an order and this is the normal curve that we selected to draw on uh, the top of our histogram and we see from this figure from this um, curve that our data set does not follow a normal distribution histogram again um, I would repeat that histogram defines the distribution of data point in our data set if we want to see whether our data set is normally distributed or is not normally distributed we plot a histogram and then when we plot this normal curve which is the standard normal curve um, it's, it's sorry not a standard but this normal curve on our data set we see that our data set does not follow normal distribution rather it's skewed to the left what is the what are what is the skewness or skewed values are we'll discuss in another video clip